Alright guys, this is Jeremy back with another gear review and today we're going to be talking about uh, the 511 ATAX A1 flashlight and this is actually my everyday carry light, I carry this about every day um, I've just been really impressed with it, um, I've had it for about 4 or 5 months and uh, earlier I had it mounted on my Mossberg 930, you can kind of catch that in one of my older videos uh, but I've been really impressed with it so far um, it's just a really good light and this is my choice for everyday carry just to give you some of the specs on it um, the uh, total length is 4.2 inches and uh, it's got a 1 inch diameter um, just kind of standard for the uh, the new um, you know kind of tactical uh, lights now uh, I had a lanyard on it but I just I took that off um, but it, it did it did come with one uh, of course it's got just you know your um, basic little clip right here clip on your pocket which is what usually how I uh, carry it around um, the lumens in the light, it has a 105 in the max setting, which is this. And uh, for the low setting, let's see if I can get it showed. That's the low setting. It's 11 lumens. And for the strobe, let's see if I can. There you go. It's 103 lumens, which is the same as the max setting. Um, the total uh, battery lifetime. Using the max setting is 50 minutes. Using the uh, using the ultra low setting is 28 hours, and using the uh, strip setting is two hours and 15 minutes. Um, so it's not a great um, lifetime just using the basic, uh, you know, the high high beam. But with the low time, you, you've got 28 hours. But kind of the uh, the reason I like this, um, and just for being an everyday carry, you know, if, if the battery ever runs out, as you can see right here. You just got a single, you know, double A battery, which is really nice. You know, if you're at a gas station or you know just driving around, you know, it's kind of hard to find, you know, the CR123 batteries that a lot of other flashlights use, and you can just stick one double A in there, which you can pretty much find anywhere, and you know, you're good to go, keep on rolling. And um, see, so also, uh, um, what else about this about this flashlight? It's waterproof. I think I said that before. But I haven't really dipped into water or anything to find out. Another thing I'm really impressed about is with the, the sturdiness of the uh, flashlight. As you can tell, I've dropped this a little bit and even had this attached onto a 12 gauge shotgun and it still continues to run. That's kind of my test for flashlights. You know, if, if, they, if they'll last uh, through a day of range use with the uh, attached to 12 gauge shotgun, they're, they're pretty much good to go. Although some some of my flashlights I found that I haven't passed that test, and if they can't pass that test, then I don't really want to. I don't trust it to carry it around in an everyday carry situation. Uh, some of the other specs on the uh, on the flashlight: the uh, LED is a Cree LED uh, right here. It's got gold-plated contacts and. Uh, Oh yeah, it's it's made out of aluminum uh, aerospace grade, which I said kind of complements the sturdiness. And of course, it's got the little strike face on here, which it seems like a lot of the flashlights are doing that nowadays. And um, you know, it protects the. Uh, oops, sorry about that. It protects the lens, but I don't really, uh, I don't really agree with you know. A lot of people say this is a strike force, you know. Um, I don't really think that would knock anybody out. All it will do would, you know, make somebody bleed, and you know, I don't, I don't really want to, you know, hit somebody to make them bleed, especially you know for um, that's just going to spread diseases if they have any in the bloodstream or anything like that. But you know, that's just my kind of thinking. You know, a lot of a lot of the flashlights now are just coming up with these gnarled, you know, stripe bezels right here, which is I think it's kind of ridiculous. You know, it's not going to, like I said, it's not going to really cause any kind of concussive factors. It's just going to make somebody bleed, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, you don't want somebody bleeding all over the place, you know, if they have some kind of, um, you know, blood-borne uh, disease, you know, like HIV or something like that. It just doesn't make any sense to me, but it seems like most of the flashlights are uh, kind of doing that nowadays. Um, but overall, I'm really I'm really uh, pleased with the, with the uh, flashlight. It's built rock solid, and I uh, really like it. Alright guys, this is Jeremy signing off. If you have any questions about this flashlight, um, you know, feel free to ask. You know, 511, everything I've got from them, I've, I've been pretty impressed with. And uh, just really impressed with it. Alright, this is Jeremy, signing off.